everybody, today we'll discuss about Corleogram in our software. This is a question that's raised by uh, one of my followers, so we will discuss in detail about Corleogram in our software. Corleogram is just a presenting of correlation in the form of a graph because correlation is often computed as part of descriptive statistics in which uh, it is helped to study the relationship between uh, two uh, variables, that means whether and how strongly uh, these two variables are associated. And as all of you know that the correlations are uh, measured between two variables at the time, and therefore, for the case, if you have uh, a number of uh, uh, many variables, or if your data set with many variables, computing correlation can be become quite uh, cumbersome and also time consuming. So, a solution to this problem is to compute correlation and display them in a correlation matrix, so which shows the correlation coefficient for all possible combination of the couple variables in your data set. So we will see this in detail in our software. Let's import my data first, my data which is found in the uh, desktop and the data name is WAC so let's import it here yes after that let's do uh, a correlation matrix so to do a correlation matrix we need to incorporate uh, this uh, package so the ggcorplot helps us to do the correlation matrix so type this and submit your studio and then after uh, you have to go for core function and you have to round into uh, the correlation value into one significant digit so type this and submit to our studio so it is already displayed here and uh, let's see the first uh, 10 uh, columns so to do that you have to use the function head and the core one up to ten so type this and submit to our studio yes so as you see here is the D, is dfe with dfe is one it's obvious and uh, there is also negative correlation there is also positive correlation so this is sum or the ten uh, variables and then let's get also the p value so in order to get the p values you have to use the function the core underscore uh, p mat and you have to indicate your data name so in this case our data name is work so type this and i assign here is pv or that means the p value so type this and submit your studio let's see the first six uh, column of the correlation p uh, values yeah it's already displayed in this way and even you can increase this number into 10 or any, depend on your number of uh, variables since i have uh, 17 columns so i can uh, add uh, more uh, numbers to this uh, section then uh, let's uh, visualize our uh, let's this increase to some parts yes let's visualize the correlation matrix so to do that you have to use the function ggcorplot and you have to just indicate this core by default a square will be uh, present so type this and submit to our studio so you will get in the right side uh, part you uh, such type of uh, graph so as you see here uh, this all uh, linear uh, linear line shows that uh, it is perfect uh, correlation perfect positive correlation and the one with this this color is uh, perfect in, uh, it's negative yeah it's, but it's perfect relationship but it is negative that means for instance uh, df with df it's obvious it is one and uh, again dft with dft it is one it is obvious and the one that with uh, white color is there is no association between uh, that particular uh, trait. For example, here is SY 
uh, against uh, grain yield, there is no association with uh, two uh, variables. Furthermore, if you want to convert instead of square, this is somehow rectangular shape. So if you want to convert this into circle, you have to uh, use the method which is called to circuit because the default is uh, square. So type this and submit to your studio. So immediately you will get the uh, circle appearance. And again, if you want uh, to get a different layout, so for example, if you want to see the uh, 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 to get the lower triangle, you have to use a function a type which calls to lower. And if you want to get the upper, uh, sorry, this is uh, the upper triangle, you have to use type which calls to upper. So this is a different color uh, layout, and this will be done using the ATC order, that means the hierarchical clustering. So you have to use it. Here is DG core plot, and here is the correlation. Then you have to order using hierarchical clustering, which is also true. So type is equal to lower. So you will get uh, the uh, layout of uh, cholesterol will be lower triangle. Yes. And again, if you want to get upper triangle, uh, all the syntax are similar, but you have to convert here lower into what? Into upper. So if you do it this way, you will get the upper triangle. And again, uh, let's see. Yeah, this upper triangle. Nothing is changed on the uh, discussion or in any uh, correlation. Uh, or in any association and uh, furthermore if you want to uh, if you want to add the correlation coefficient so you have to add the argument language colors to true so the, the correlation coefficient will display in the form of this yeah the reason why I'm giving the level of significance to one digit is if you increase to two or three, this part will be somehow uh, uh, complex or it will be a noisy number. That's why I am assigning here the level of significance digits into one. If I make, for instance, three here, so if we come and uh, uh, get the coefficient, it will be somehow, as you see, it's very, uh, yeah, it's a very noisy number, yeah, it's a noisy number. So I strongly uh, suggest you to use this uh, to one significant digit. Then let's back to our uh, analysis. Yeah. So type this and you'll get a good a good uh, uh, image uh, furthermore uh, you can also give uh, 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 you can also live in the form of what in the form of uh, uh, the one that we see that uh, the correlation coefficient but if you want to add significant level on the uh, choreogram, so you have to use a function a p mass which equals to pv. pv is what the pv, P, PV stands for what the p value that means what we created here. pv indicate this one, so the p value. So if you want to assign the p value, so I suggest you to use uh, this method. So you have to use the digi core plot. And again, all things are the same, but you have to add the p mass, which is standard for p value. So type this and submit to our studio. So you will get this one. So the one that with the mark of x means there is no association uh, among the traits. Here is again uh, x x means that there is no association or there is no statistically significant difference with that particular trait. For example, pH with uh, DFE is not statistically significant. 
And again also, let's see another uh, leaf area or LA, which is ar around this line. And again, the F is not statistically significant. Uh, uh, TKW uh, compared to EL, granule with EL, HI with EL is not statistically significant. Or I mean, there is no association between TK with EL, GY, GY with EL, and HI with uh, EL. So the one that mark with X is there is no statistically significant difference between uh, the two uh, variables. Then after, uh, we, we can also uh, give all, possi all possible correlation. That means uh, you have to first, you have to first load this, uh, these things in order to get the package called the Laris package. So you have to use and uh, uh, run to your art studio and be sure that you have good internet connection. So all, all here is all possible uh, correlation means you can correlate, for example, uh, granule with harvesting index and any other uh, uh, types of, uh, uh, for example, uh, granule with harvest index, planted with granule, and we will see which a combination or which uh, association is very high. So we will select the top 10. For example, you have to use this uh, package to your software and we can, uh, we have to indicate here is your data name is, uh, my, my data name is, here is work and your data name is maybe different from me. So you have to indicate your data name here. And also you have to set, here is, uh, the level of significance or the p-value, so uh, 0 0.05, and uh, the number of associations or the the ones that you want to display uh, or the highest correlation in their uh, order. For example, if I want to see the top 10, so I I have to type here is 10. If I want to top 5, so uh, I will type uh, 5. So uh, you have to use the function also his uh, core cross so this will help us to get all poss possible correlation and among that association which is highest which is lowest which is uh, uh, mid so type this and submit to our studio yes sorry we have to something is left here yeah so type this and still is one thing is left. Okay. Let's correct it. Yeah, I hope it's work. Yeah. As you as you see, as you see here. The association between DFT and uh, DFS uh, is the highest, which is around 0 0.9 or 1. This indicates that the correlation, which is 0, 0 0.25, 5, and uh, 0 0.75, and more than this is around uh, 1, so it's very strong. And uh, the second one is uh, AGBY with granite, and this. GY with TK and the one that with the red line indicates that it is a negative association and here also negative association so these are the top 10 or the most relevant association among the rest additionally if you want to check one particular trait against other so if I want to see the top 10 but the top 10 is not all pairwise comparison but against granite. So granite with planted or granite with HI or granite with LI with any other trait. So we select the best one. So in order to do that, you have to use the core var. So correlation of one variable and again is to other variable and we'll select the top 10. So type this and submit to our studio. Let's see. Let's select it all. 
I hope uh, still something is uh, left. It is showing me as a mirror. And still, sometimes Earth makes busy. So let's hit again. Yeah. So Grenade with this one is the top best association. And Grenade with this one is the second. Grenade, uh, Grenade with this one is the best. And Greenhill with pH or plant it is the top uh, 10 or the last uh, uh, one regarding to their rank. So this is all about the uh, correlogram. If you have any question uh, or comment or suggestion, you can provide me through my email and YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.